Play. 15 minutes of music in the modern manner, sweet and slow, light and bright. Produced for your entertainment by the Director of Public Relations of the Australian Army, featuring Lottie Wilson, the Hammond Organ, and the On Parade Quintet. We've mentioned Malaire on previous occasions in this program, but we have not said anything about the actual operations. In this edition of On Parade, we're going to tell you something of what the Australian Battalion has done. But first, let the quintet set our mood as they say, let yourself go. <laughs> The anti-terrorist campaign in Malaya is not spectacular. A considerable amount of gruelling work may be put in without making contact with the terrorists. On the other hand, when contact is made, the dauntless spirit and courage of the Australian diggers are well to the fore. Already, several decorations have been awarded to Australians for outstanding operations. One MBE, two military medals and five mentions and dispatches have been awarded to date. To give you an idea of what our troops are doing in Malaya, I'd like to quote from some of the citations, but before I do so, here is Jimmy Allen with his flute and the Mamita Samba. <laughs> Thank you. 
Lance Corporal ABR Falk of Newport Beach, New South Wales, was awarded the military medal as a result of this operation. On June 22, 1956, Lance Corporal Falk, then a private, was patrolling as a member of a section during a communist ambush, and his section moved up to assist. The section commander and another soldier were pinned down by terrorist fire. Lance Corporal Falk quickly led the three remaining men of the section behind the terrorist position. They attacked and extricated his section commander. The terrorists retreated under heavy fire from Lance Corporal Falk and his companions. The citation states, by his courage, qualities of leadership and determination, Private Falk was largely responsible for thwarting any terrorist plan for the seizure of security force arms and equipment. I have said thanks for that lovely weekend Those two days of heaven you helped me to spend The thrill of your kiss as you stepped off the train The smile in your eyes like the sun after rain To mark the occasion we went out to dine Remember the music, the laughter, the wine That drive in the taxi when midnight had flown Breakfast next morning, just we two alone You had to go, the time was so short we both had so much to say Your bags to be packed The train to be caught Sorry I cried But I just felt that way And now you have gone, dear This letter I penned my heart travels with you till we meet again. Keep smiling, my darling, and someday we'll spend a lifetime as sweet as that lovely weekend. Thank you, Vic West. Now, in the same operation as Lance Corporal Falk, Private Pennant was also awarded the military medal. 
The initial attack threw him to the ground. Scrabbling to his feet, he engaged the terrorists with his Bren gun. The blast from a hand grenade threw him to the ground again. He rose a second time, holding off assault until Lance Corporal Falk's section arrived. So for Lance Corporal Falk and Private Pennant, here is our quintet with the final number for this week. And it's Bernie's tune. <laughs> we feel that it can never be said that the Australian soldier lacks initiative, determination or courage. And now this is Jim Berenson saying cheerio until the same time next week when this program, produced by the Directorate of Public Relations of the Australian Army and recorded by AWA, is again on parade.